Yo, what is up? We are back for another episode of the WB Black Diamond series. This week, I'm actually not skiing any black diamonds. Uh, there's a few blue glades that are in the book, and I will cap off the Symphony Zone, and those are Rhapsody Bowl, which is right behind me, uh, Staccato Glades, and Glissendo Glades. All pretty mellow, flat uh, skiing, hence why they're blue. Um, but I said I was going to ski every single run in the book. Those are in the book, even though they're not black diamonds. I am going to ski them. So let's go. Little hit right here. All righty. I am going to ski down to Rhapsody Bowl, which is right over there. Also formerly known as Boundary Bowl. Ski down, Jeff Lowe to Joy to start it off. And then you go right to Rhapsody Bowl. And pretty much anywhere here. Boom. This is run number 68. Rap City Bowl. Yeah. Let's get it. Send the blades. That's the next run. That's run number 70. But run number 69 is also this way. Staccato glades. So I think I'm gonna try and traverse a little higher to catch a little bit of the upper gladed areas next run. But since I just skied Rhapsody Bowl to here, take the road and cut off and traverse a bit. Over here, get to the glades. Watch for creeks here. Hup. As you can see, Starting to be a little more related zone. I'm just traversing a little bit. And uh, look, we're, we're right about here. Staccato glades. Flat, mellow glades. But they are fun. And right now they're hot schmoo. But when a little bit of power, they're actually quite fun. Can't say I see these often, but always fun exploring new zones. It's a pretty short run, and it spits you back out on the glissando pretty quick. You right here, and back on a glissando. All righty. Well, we'll ski this, flush this out to the left, and. That was run number 69, FYI, if anyone was wondering. Pretty good number. If any of you follow me, I'm very immature. And uh, 69 is my favorite number. All right, back up for the next one. Let's go. Alrighty, and today's last run is Glissendo Glades. Uh, you do have to traverse a little bit if you want the upper part. Um, you don't have to ski toward them, but you can uh, traverse from Rhapsody Bowl all the way across. 
Is it worth it? Right now it definitely isn't. On a bit of a better pow day, it might be, it might not be. But if you do like mellow glades, it is a pretty fun one. So at 70, Glissando Glades, let's go. Alrighty, Glissando Glades, run number 70. Got some fresh pow. Got a nice little hit right here. Woo! Actually, it's getting pretty fun. Pretty smooth. Pretty big. Corn, nice, fun corn snow. That's just getting really well. Woo! Make sure you don't go too far right because you might end up missing symphony if you do. Oh, it's getting a little tighter down here. Still pretty nice fun glades though. This is where a pow day would make it a little more fun. Yeah. Still some fresh snow though, fresh sunbaked snow. And It'll spit you out on the glissando. And that will spit you right back down to Symphony. Right around the corner right here. Thanks for watching another episode. And keep on shredders, shredding shredders. Peace. Good old Symphony. Well, uh past halfway done whistler black or no whistler black no, just whistler the whistler side at 70 i think there's 126 runs on this side that i gotta ski and uh i just wanted your input to see what you guys like what you don't like what you want to see more of what you want to see less of if you'd rather have me just ski in gopro without talking and music or if you don't mind the chatter and the no music or maybe a bit a little bit of mix of both um yeah a ton of fun making these uh it's kind of funny i always try to loop some friends into it but um some of these runs are a little bit off the beaten path and not like your typical fun shred lap so it's been hard to get some of my friends looped in on this and uh yeah so that's that um just finished number 70 and uh next up we will be heading over to Fluto, which I'm actually, actually pretty stoked on. I wish the conditions were a little better, but um, the north still is holding pretty good snow. Uh, it is going to get foggy and cloudy, and kind of need light for those, or else it's just white out. You can't see anything, which I've skied in before, but a little bit more bigger slopes, more consequential, so I'd love to do them in good light and good stability. <sighs> And I'm also going away in a week uh, to Alaska for three weeks to film for a blank movie. So I will have one out. I won't. I won't have another one out if I don't see those before I leave. Um, so I might have to take a three-week break, which would kind of suck. And when I get back, it'll probably be full on springtime. But uh, I am going to ski them one way or another. Uh, just might have to wait a little. All right, thanks for uh, tuning in, and we will see you next time we see you on the channel. Later.